The crowd is amped up, ready to get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. So the St. Louis Cardinals among the league's favorites after they lost in the World Series last year. And Singy, I got to think it's somewhat deflating when you get that close to the ultimate prize only to come up short. Yeah, I'd say deflating, demoralizing, agonizing. You can go on and on. And it's just tough, Boog, because just to get to the World Series is a huge accomplishment. So you know, getting those last four wins, though, that's what makes legends. And with opening day, here's a chance to get your season going in the right direction and take that final step this year. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And on the hill in this one, Jake Woodford. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub 350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes them out. So, you know, good season afternoon. last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year. Possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Ellie De La Cruz leading things off and takes a strike. Going two now. One ball, two strikes. That one two missing balls, inside. Misses inside. And yeah, the count is filled up. Rip to short. One up, one down. Here's the lineup for the Reds. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, Get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a go. flow, step out. Mess up his timing. Somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And it's one and one. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Two down. So two down now, and here is Tyler Stevenson. Tyler. Outfield playing Stevenson. very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First offering misses the mark. And there's the strike. That 
That one inside, oh, and it's two and one. And there's a the ball. Fly ball down the line, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. So now three and two. Got it by him for the K. And one, two, three, go the Reds. And now the Cardinals get their first shot at it here. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. And on the hill, Alex Young. Singy, he's a guy that can rack up a lot of strikeouts. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher More chance of being successful. Bottom of the first, and now the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. The wind and the pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Reynolds oh. takes it to the bag. And a quick out number one. Batting second. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. All right, Singy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. To the batter now, Luis Angel Acuna. That's a strike. 0 and 1. Young. He has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that oh, can that get helps. out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Bounce to the left side. Zips it across. Two up, two down. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to the see some base signs base. of trouble. This guy's Boy, earned man. a longer leash. And because of that, confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things get a little rough out there, they know he'll find his way through it. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And that's a two-out double. Wastes no time there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So, man aboard. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Arenado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. How much of the ability to do that in a tight spot is the mental approach? I think it's very much being able to. Now this is through for a base hit. Fraley fires it to the plate. Tag, too late, he scores. And it's one nothing. Back-to-back -back base hits. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. Here's Aloy Jimenez. And that one fouled off. And now the 1. This to third. They take the force out, out. Out number three. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show.
Second inning, to set to go. Play. And ready to hit the now for is. Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Fraley. Woodford back to work. And that one a little bit high. On the ground. Edmonds slings the first. And quickly one away in the second. That is it. The second baseman. Jonathan India. Jonathan India at the plate. The Reds certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 where they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Gator. He turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking. I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses, struck him out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, that known for using the entire the field. Fielder. Just couldn't sit TJ back long enough on that one. TJ Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Righty delivers. One and one. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Three. Struck him out looking. Reds go down quietly. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the second. And now the Cardinals catcher, Wilson Contreras. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. And ball one. You come into the game knowing that Unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Oh. Falling behind 2-1. and one. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer, when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Now one away. And here is Vinny Pasquantino. That one out to right. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Batting eight, the center fielder. Two outs, bases empty. This is Dylan Carlson, a switch hitter batting right. California kid, played for his dad at Elk Grove High School. His teammates there with Nick Madrigal. And first offering is fouled off. That clips the corner. 
Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Oh, and two now. In the air out to center. Friedel settles under it. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. But they hold a one-nothing lead. New inning getting started. Now getting it's the DH, Emilio Sosa. Emilio Sosa. Sosa goes five feet, 11 inches, hitting seventh in today's lineup. A former first round pick in 2023. And fouled off. The pitch. Good eye right there. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. And that is cut on and missed. Gonna count one and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. The pitch. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Ramon Navarro. Ramon Navarro will hit next. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Kicks and deals. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's Bolton. And a strike. And now it's filled up. And the righty deals. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Noel V. Marte now at the plate. Marte getting to start at shortstop. 23 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Righty to the plate. That's and ball. another ball. Two balls, no strike. The pitch. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Swing and a base hit.
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. So back to the top of the Reds lineup. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. It's a pitch out. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here in St. Louis. Digging in, Lars Newtbar. The right fielder. Here comes a pitch. Curveball drops in for a strike. Young goes six feet, three inches. He throws a curveball, a changeup, a sinker, a four seamer, and occasionally uses a cutter. Leadoff man batter. retired here in the third. Now batter. The shortstop. Tommy Edmund. And here comes Tommy Edmund. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll well, just look at the oh, back what? of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Exactly. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. That Whoa. misses the zone. Damn. Three balls, no strikes. Hey. There's a strike. Hey. And the pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Cunha in the yep, box now as out. he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right. And that one lifted in the air center field. Friedel makes the play. That is the inning. Redbirds down quietly. But they still lead it one nothing. Start of the fourth. In now for the Reds, Ellie De La Cruz. The wind of the pitch. Inside, just missed. And that's in for a strike. and miss struck him out one away tell you what those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass it could take away your focus from the next hitter and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up 
a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And here's the first baseman, Matt Reynolds. Ball one low. Ball one, no strike. That one Two missed. Balls, no strike. Clips the zone. Two and one now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Edmund slings oh, the first. Out. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of now keeping back. the ball out of the, the air. Pitcher. Lets the defense work Tyler. behind him with another ground ball. Stevenson. Good execution. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That ah. one's in there, 0 and 1. Oh, He's pitching one. well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. On the ground, right side, and it stays fair. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. There's a strike. All ones the count. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Jimenez has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. Reds leave one. They still trail one nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, the second Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. Young, back to work. And a strike in there. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Wings through that. No ball, two strikes. Next pitch ball, is outside. Two strikes. And ball now two. two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. On the ground, right side. Steps on he's first out. for the out. Yeah. Now back, the third baseman, Nolan. Here's Nolan oh, Arenado. No, no. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you oh, look at players that. like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. One ball. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman 
that elite. Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are good just ball. the feet. Does good he track. have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And that one hammered Fraley. Going back, back some more. It bangs off the wall. And that's a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Eloy Jimenez now. He's 0 for 1. That Whoa, misses the zone, it. and it's 1-0. Oh. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's Ready? the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. One out, and a runner at second. And it two is 2-1. And yeah. it's even up. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In the dirt. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Here in St. Louis, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Jonathan India. The right hander back to work. 0 1. 0 1. And a pitch. Misses inside. One ball, one strike. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Just missed. Now on this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Downstairs, nope. and it misses ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. No outs, runner at first. Next for Cincinnati, TJ Friedel. Little chopper rolls foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. Flares it into the outfield. That one gets down for a hit. Throw comes into second. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Next to hit, Emilio Sosa. Hauls it in for the out. 
Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder. When one of those things comes screaming towards you, watch your lips. Two on, one out. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Ramon Navarro. And a foul ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Diving and he can't make the play. Headed for the plate. Cut off, now a throw home. He's in there. Well, a huge two RBI swing of the bat right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Noel V. Marte, the next to hit for the Reds. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Counts one and oh. That hits the dirt. Ball one. In the air, right field. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And it'll be runners at second and third, only one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the... Reds. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike, oh and it's all one. one. And a strike on the outside edge. Just missed. It's a good take. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch is downstairs. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Chopped to the ground. In plenty of time to first, two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. In now for the Reds, Matt Reynolds. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. And he'll two. And he chases that one. Good job at damage control right there. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds two and the Cardinals one. Here at the ballpark, Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. The captain, Wilson Contreras. The pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The line of the pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Sharp 
fifth rounder. That's through for a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Vinny Pasquantino next up for the Cardinals. First pitch, just misses. And now the lefty. Grounder might be two. Marte tossed the second. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Here's the center fielder, Dylan Carlson. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Out to short, Marte. Fires across the diamond, and that is the third out of the inning. Back here in St. Louis, top of the sixth inning. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Cincinnati, the catcher. Tyler and here it Stevenson. comes Stevenson measures oh, six one. feet four inches 28 years old and he's a former silver slugger recipient in the National League right hander kicks deals they tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Every now and then you'll see a right fielder try to throw out that runner at first. The hitter, he takes offense to it. Well, nobody ever tried to throw you out at first. Just the second baseman every time I'd roll over on the ground. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. Pitch misses. Ball one. Rip to first, caught! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more in the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One run game, one out, one on. Sneaks through, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Everything came together for him. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. Here's Oliver Marmol towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Jake Woodford done for the day and he leaves in a one run game new pitcher coming on we'll be back in a minute John Means on the pitch out of the pen here pretty tight game so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here got to do his best to keep the score right where it is Ball one, no 
those strikes. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And that's in for a strike. Double steal. That's ripped into the outfield. He's got it, and there's two away. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Emilio Sosa. Check swing, appeal to first. And yes, he did. He went around. Edmund. They get the force. Out. That ends the frame. And the Redbirds bullpen comes through. 9-1-2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Reds two and the Cardinals one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtball. in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Hard hit to third. Sends it across oh. to first. Lead-off man retired in the sixth. The bat. Not your Tommy. Tommy Edmond at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Pitch Whoa, misses man. inside, and that's ball one. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next offering is in the dirt. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. On the ground, right side, India over to first, in time. Two up, two down. So now the DH spot, Luis Angel Acuna. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Two outs. Hit in the air, right field. Dives! What a play! One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. here at Bush Stadium. And now it's going to be Ramon Navarro. The pitch. And there's the strike. Swings through that one. And he deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. 
Noel V. Marte, the next to hit for the Reds. And he grounds one to the right side. Throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Ellie De La Cruz, the next to hit for the Reds. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a nope, relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Two down, nobody on. And there's the strike. 21. Big swing and a miss. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, we've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball three. The pitch. And that's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that the that's the pitch he has the most three. confidence in right now. Matt. Just couldn't find the strike Reynolds. zone. So up next, Matt Reynolds. Struck out on just three pitches last time. He's going, he's going. Runner on the goal. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Petreras with a snap throw. But he scrambles back. The 1-1. One, one. Runner on the go again. They pitch out. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. That was close. But StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Run comes in from second, and they lead by two. And he's got a double. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get into scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Man at second here with two away. And the batter now, Tyler Stevenson. Really good piece of hitting last time Ball. going to the opposite field. Next pitch is outside. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Next That's one three. misses. Ball three. Three ball, no strike. So now two on and two outs. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk now, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Jake Fraley, the next to hit. In there and it's 0-1. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Reynolds, the lead runner at second. Stevenson on at first with two down. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Reds three, and the Cardinals one. as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. There's a 
strike. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Howie Bauer getting ready to go. Diaz getting loose as well. Kicks and deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Here's Nolan Arenado. Outfield deep here. Trying to prevent anything over their heads. And that's in there for strike one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Center field. Friedel sizing this one up. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Now back to the left field. Aloy Jimenez next up for the Cardinals and that one almost got him looking to get something going this is the guy you want at the plate he's been great for this team he is a professional hitter that one is absolutely belted back there and that ball is out of here he powers that one out to left his first homer of the year it's 3-3 Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Alex Young gives way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Pitcher for the Reds, Howie Bauer. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. one is lifted in the air Navarro under this one brings it in and there's two away now so digging in Vinny Pasquantino Chris baseball today so many strikeouts and they are available to pitchers but this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in day out First off, oh, bringing it just play. misses. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next offering is in for a strike. Singy, so one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think, ah, well, he settles under it in left, and that will end the inning. Two runs for St. Louis on this blast. We're tied now at three apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Jonathan India. The line of the pitch. Foul ball.
Here comes the 1. Swings through that one out Open front that hit. time. On the ground to third. Arenado to first in time. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Now that the center field. TJ Friedel digs in now. One for three. Check swing. He held up. And that's ball one. Ball one, no play. Fought off foul. Hey. Fastball in for a strike. Now one and two. Got him. Now two away. The back, number 34. And next is the designated hitter, Emilio Sosa. First offering misses the mark. Pitch. And that is in for a strike. And the count is one and two. Three. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nobody left for Cincinnati. Still tied three and three. Chase DeYoung gets the ball now. <laughs> Dylan Carlson Leading getting up. ready to Carter. hit. The center fielder. Dylan Carlson. Here comes a pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. You'll one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And the right hater deals. Not close with that one. And that is ball one. And a curve misses outside. Swing and a miss struck him out. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Newt Bar in the box now. Oh, Take strike one. one. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. 
chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge if you change the ball game. Now it's the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. Down the middle for a strike. 0 and 1. And a pitch. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Out towards right center field, and that'll fall for a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Acuna in the box lays off for ball one. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball, and he throws it away. Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Two and all the cow. Here it comes. And a curve drops in for a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Two down. Go ahead, run at scoring position. He deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two now. Got him swinging. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Cincinnati, Ramon Navarro. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Next one off the plate inside. One and one. And there's the strike. Got him! One gone here. Here's the shortstop at the play. Noel V. Marte. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. 1-1 one, one now. 
up the middle and it finds its way through for a hit well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now here's the Reds leadoff man, Ellie De La Cruz. That one misses. Ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next pitch misses. And that's ball two. One away tie game go ahead run stands at first that oh, misses the zone and that's ball three Matt Reynolds waits on deck and the 3 0 finds the zone and a pitch that one finds the corner now three and two Laser base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now Huge at bat in this game coming up. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Cody Hoyer. Stepping in, Matt Reynolds. Hey. That one's in there, 0 on 1. Slides, but it gets by him. Marte on his horse around third. Play at the plate, safe, and they take the lead. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. In now for the Reds, Tyler Stevenson. In there for strike one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Slapped foul. Next offering is downstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next offering is foul back. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And he goes down looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. And now Jake Fraley. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Corners are occupied with two down. Swing and a miss. And the count is three and one. And he walked him. Oh, this is their chance to break it open. If they don't end up winning this ball game, they're going to look back at this opportunity right here and have some regret. Dylan Coleman gets handed the rock out of the pen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. India in the box oh, here man. lets that one go for a ball. High 
high fly ball lifted in the air right field. And that is that. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Fernando Cruz. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game, Brendan Donovan now at the plate. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. Hit right field. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive night. Nolan Arenado, the next to hit. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. The 0-1. And it's strike two. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Aloy Jimenez, next up for the Cardinals. He's already homered in this game. That's in there. It's 0-1. Full strike right there. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets oh. way inside, gets out of the way. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Next oh, pitch is inside. Like it's two and two. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Righty delivers. In the air to left center. Friedel moving under this one. And there are two outs. The catcher, number 40. So it's their last chance in this one. And up next for St. Louis, Wilson Contreras. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against it. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Alexis Diaz takes over on the mound. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. At the belt and fires. That misses. And it's 2-0. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. Hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game.
So first and second with two outs. Vinny Pasquantino digs in now. That one ran yeah, inside, one almost got him. Pitch misses there. Ball two. They say it went. Next offering misses. And the count is three and one. Dylan Carlson to bat next. Two outs. Both the tying and winning runs are on. Lifted in the air, right center field. Friedel settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. Ball game, and the Reds hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, you take a tight ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well-played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. And the final score here... 4-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chubb. Thanks for joining us. Nothing worth it is easy. Nothing easy is worth it. We all live and we die. What you leave in this earth be? Got him moving silly. Wonder why nobody ever make it out of city. Heard he got a hook and a heart full of envy. Nowadays, hate to see it when you win it. Yeah, so everybody ain't clapping. They only tune in just to see what can happen. And when it do happen, they gon' want them a fraction of love. Only real when they see that you That's between me and you. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Four runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For St. Louis, three runs on nine hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours exactly. Our paid attendance this afternoon, 46,000. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us and remind you to please drive home safely.